curiosity and rituals of the everyday is an exhibition for 2021 organized by the Indian Ocean Craft Triennial in collaboration with ArtSource. We've got professionals and intellectuals, artists and craftspeople here today who are going to be participating in the discussion. Let's have a listen to what they've got to say. So today what we're doing is we're sharing how we've got to here today, what's happened over the last six months, what we expect, the venues that have been confirmed for the craft triennial and what we're going to be doing in the next 18 months. The exhibition will take place in the second half of 2021. So that's actually very close. So this project is one that we think is well and truly due. Its time has come. It's time for Western Australia to look again to the region that we live in, to look again to the marvellous ocean that surrounds us and that links us to all of the 21 countries in the Indian Ocean Rim. Been working a lot with the group on the curatorial themes. So the first thing that we wanted to look at as a kind of overarching theme when we were looking at the Indian Ocean is in a sense the difference between craft practices in the Indian Ocean area and in Western countries because in Western countries now craft is mainly practiced by people who've been to art college whereas around the Indian Ocean area there is still a lot of traditional artisans who make objects for everyday use and earn their living from that. What was it that they made objects for? And we came up with four sub-themes. So one is votive, which is um, religious practices. People make things for everyday use in a domestic situation. There's also adornment, clothing, textiles and shelter. Traditional forms of making houses, making domestic architecture. To the region in general and to the old history of this region in the world and all these practices associated with making. Architecture is part of what we talk about it. Ornamenting the architecture, building these accessories with the architecture is big part of what people doing even till now. Continuous practices for the people but it's associated now with different meaning and different context. Before we were writing on the stone and now we're writing on paper and currently we're writing on the screen. So there is, you know, link between all these three different format and how this affected on, on us as a human, on, on the people who use our outcome from these practices as well. This craft triennial gives uh, a, a really valuable opportunity to those artists working in craft to show their work to Australia. This is very timely and I think it's enormously important to WA and the country and, and internationally. I think one of the very important things about this showcase will highlight that within our community we do have uh, a growing generation of young artists who in the, in the metro and in the country regions are exploring uh, this medium the, the, the variety of mediums within craft in uh, very um, interesting ways. I think this is a huge opportunity for intercultural learning and understanding. Uh, when you bring people together and they sit down and actually interact and perhaps make something together, it is often a much more enriching experience and provides opportunity for people to connect on, on a much more human level. So my particular interest in the triennial is for all those satellite opportunities for people to come together to make together for lots of different uh, communities in Australia perhaps of people from other Indian Ocean Rim countries to to share their stories and their generational history and making and inspire others in their own community and in others to to embrace those skills when we talk about the visual arts, I, I strongly believe that crafts, material thinking, material making, makers of all sorts come under that umbrella. It's a great pleasure to us that we are partnering with the Indian Ocean Crafts Triennial. It's a much needed event, I think. It's going to be fabulous that we can have discussions around all of the ideas and work with other countries 
and everybody's really excited about getting behind it. It's been a beautiful day so far today and uh, I'm sure every participant of this discussion are excited and delighted about the outcome it's Tony ETC for On The Current.